mercy be unto you, family, friends, and neighbors, and peace be multiplied. Before today's inspirational words of encouragement, you will be blessed by the ministry of Psalmist Paul Lee. Tis so sweet to trust you, Jesus. Just to take you at your word Just to rest upon your promise Just to know the safe, the Lord Jesus, Jesus how I trust you And how I proved you o'er and o'er Jesus, Jesus Precious Jesus Oh, for grace to trust you Mercy be unto you, family, friends, and neighbors, and peace and love be multiplied. Today's encouragement scriptural reference is taken from Revelation 1, 7 through 8, and is entitled, Ready or Not. Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. Beloveds, are we ready to see Jesus? Will we be ready to see him? Revelation 1 and 7 answers that question clearly. It says, every eye shall see him. Therefore, whether we are alive or dead, we will see our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus, our risen King. Hallelujah. The scripture says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. Yes, beloveds. Even those who mocked him, spat on him, placed a crown of thorns on his head, and drove the spear into his, his side. 
we all shall see him. Glory to God. Glory to God. And Jesus, whilst here on earth, faced arrest, torture, and an agonizing death. He was crucified. He died and he rose on the third day. Jesus was committed, beloveds, to complete the task for which he came to earth. Jesus came to make humanity right with God, to make atonement for our sin. He came to save us all. Jesus came that we might have eternal life. Jesus always puts his trust in God the Father who sent him. He never gave up. He never wavered. He persevered and accomplished his purpose here on earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready, beloveds? Is our loins girded about? Is our lights burning? Meaning to be equipped and ready. Luke 12, 35. Bless God. Have you confessed that Jesus Christ is Lord? Beloveds, we must be working hard in this season to live a life that is pleasing to Almighty God. A life seeking the kingdom of God, seeking Him with all our hearts. A life to complete and accomplish the tasks set before us by Christ Jesus. A life to testify and work, to encourage and build up others, letting them know about the good news Letting them know about the wonderful grace of Almighty God. Letting them know there is only one way to eternal life. They must believe in Christ Jesus. Yes, Jesus came to save us. He came to show us the way to salvation. He who has all authority in heaven and on earth. Before him every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Glory to God. Philippians 2, 9 and 11. Through 11. Jesus says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. The Almighty. Yes. Beloveds, Jesus is not dead. He is alive. Christ Jesus lives and he is coming back again. We know not the minute nor the hour, the day or night of his return. But he is coming back again. Christ Jesus is coming back for you and me. Wherein, take heed, for now is the time. It is the day to give your life to Jesus. Give your lives to Jesus before it's too late. Confess your sins and turn from them. Again, Take heed, for there will be much weeping and wailing, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. For the great day of his wrath is coming. 
who shall be able to stand? Why wait? Why wait? Invite Jesus into your life. Invite him as your Lord and personal Savior. He is waiting. He will come by the Holy Spirit and live inside you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, who art in heaven, Abba Father, daily we seek you. You are the lifter of our heads. We are filled with the word of life. Your word dwells within us by the Holy Spirit. Your word is written on the table of our hearts, Lord. And your word quickens your children and keep us alive. We have received the body and blood of Christ Jesus. You are the bread of our lives. We thank you, for we shall not hunger first or die, for in you, Savior divine, is eternal life. Grant us your peace, O Lord. Wipe away every teardrop from off all our faces. You are our strength. By your grace, Lord, lead us in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. For your name's sake. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in you, beloveds, than he that is in the world. I am Minister G. Knight. Thy will be done. We say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.